Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my September book haul, and I don't have a lot of books, thank God, um, this month. And um, yeah, I have a mix of things, so let's just jump right into this. So the first thing I have for you guys was actually something I got in August. But I'm just getting it back. And that's my lovely, lovely Bible that I got um, from my service, my elevation service, which is the Fishers of Men Bible. This is in the CSB translation. And this Bible is so amazing, like, so amazing. I do have a paperback edition. I am going to try to get, like, a leather bound or hardcover because I don't want to ruin this because this is signed from my leaders. Um, here is a signature from the youth pastor from my bishop and then on the back my first lady signed it so um this is something that is near and dear to my heart i will do a review of this bible because i think this bible is amazing it's like everything and more it's so good um but yeah i think i definitely want to get a hardcover or a paper a uh, hardcover or leather bound um because i don't want to get this one messed up because this this is definitely a, um a keepsake for me so we have this bible and i'm so excited to have it back in my hands you guys don't understand i'm so excited i got it back on sunday and um yeah so we have this bible next i only have one children's book and that is going to be god gave us the bible it's 45 stories for little ones by lisa ton bergen art by david hahn and um i have a lot of things from lisa ton i love her art just not her art but i love her books for my son he enjoys them as well um and she always picks great artists to work with to illustrate her books um but this one like i said goes to 45 little stories and isn't this gorgeous oh my god Look at the little polar bears. I just, I can't, I die, I die for it. Um, and this, she uses the NIV translation alone, so that's pretty great. And she has things such as Genesis 1, which is about the creation, Adam and Eve, Noah's Ark, um, God choosing Abraham, Sarah having a baby, Joseph and his cool coat, David and Goliath, Queen Esther, she has the three Hebrew boys, Daniel and the lion's den. Actually, I want to go to page 65 and see what that looks like. <laughs> so she has the little idol that King Nebuchadnezzar made. That's funny. The three Hebrew boys in the fire. I think this little bird is so cute. Oh my gosh. Do you see? The illustrations are just really, really cute to me. Oh, this is John the Baptist when he baptized Jesus and the Holy Spirit came down in the shape of a dove. Oh, these are so cute. And the polar bears. Ah, I love it. So we have this for my son and I to read. And we'll probably read this tonight. Um, Okay, so then I have three items from our daily bread. I actually have more and in, in, it's coming in the mail. But yeah. Um, So I finally finally got the last part to In Pursuit of John. Um, This is parts five through seven. So now I own all of them. Um, I'm waiting for them to send out the form so that you can just have the actual DVD so that I can send this set to someone else, which is why I haven't unwrapped it. But um, these are all in the Pursuit of John, so you have episodes 1 and 2, 3 and 4, and then 5 through 7. And these were from March, May, and July. I didn't need anything from... April or June because I already had the DVDs that they were sending out. But, um, yeah, I eventually want to give this to somebody once I get my hands on the actual full set, which is why I haven't unwrapped these yet. So they're still wrapped up. Okay. Next thing I got from them is one of their journey through, um, kind of like devotional journal journals. This one is a 62 devotional insights by Mike Ryder, Ritter, right? Ryder. I don't know how to say it. Um, but it's on the book of Matthew or the gospel according to Matthew. And, um, it's literally 62 days. Um, but what I like is that they give you some of the, they give you the scripture, they give you the breakdown of the scripture, um, and then they give you space for you to think through and write notes. So I have this, I have one on, um, oh my God, I think it's, I can't remember what the other one I have is on, but I do have, I think one or two other ones of these, um, based on the New Testament. And, um, these I feel like are great ways to dive into the word without, feeling overwhelmed so i'm definitely excited to do this especially when i study matthew because i have yet to study the gospel according to matthew yeah next thing i got from our daily bread is their 2020 planner i actually enjoy their planners i think their planners are cool um they're tiny they look like this 
this is what a weekly spread looks like you have your weeks um then you have your shopping list and then over here you have a long to-do list so i think it's pretty cool um of course some people might not like that because big planner community but um yeah this is for 2020 and i'm thinking if i'm going to use this one or not I'm not sure yet um so i'm still debating how i'm going to use this or if i'm going to give it away but we have this for 2020. The last three books are from Rebel, and I also have more books coming from them, which I don't know why they're not here yet, but they're on en route here. Um, but this first one is called She Prays. It's a 31-day journey to confident conversations with God by Debbie Lindell, and this I'm actually planning to do in December um, as an actual... Um, kind of like challenge for myself just to work on prayer and I like this because um she gives you questions she gives you things to do little spaces to answer um it's broken down into different days so you have your day one to day 31 and um I just think it's awesome and I'm excited to get into it here is another kind of one of them places to journal um but on the back it says God wants us to know him so well that we are comfortable talking to him about anything and everything yet there are times when we feel disconnected and insecure we desire to grow in prayer, but we don't know where to begin, what to say, or how to listen for his voice. And she prays, Debbie Lindell invites you on a 31-day journey to experience a confident and conversational relationship with your Heavenly Father. She shows you how to replace the pressure to perform in prayer with a faith-filled expectation, trusting that God is delighted with every conversation and every word we whisper to him. Her desire is that your soul will be transformed as your confidence in prayer grows and that your faith will be strengthened as you see God work through your prayers in ways you never imagined possible so um yeah this is one that i definitely want to read you guys know how i feel about prayer i think prayer is essential but i personally suck at praying out loud um i get in my head a lot when i tend to pray out loud and i start to um notice things around me instead of just focusing on god so i feel like this would be one to help me um, really just stay focused so i'm definitely going to do this in december maybe november but probably december the last two books um, go hand in hand. So I have 100 Ways to Love Your Husband, The Simple, Powerful Path to a Loving Marriage by Lisa Jacobson. And then I have 100 Ways to Love Your Wife by her husband, Matt Jacobson. And um, yeah, I'm not married yet. I am still with my son's father. We're not married. We've been together for seven years. But I find that I like getting books like these, um, be it husband and wife duo. I have another duo coming as well from Rebel, um, which should have been here, but I don't know. It's on the way. <laughs> but um I like books like these because, you know, when I'm when I'm married, I want the type of marriage where my husband and I can study the word of God together, where we can do the same sort of devotionals, but one geared towards the opposite person, if that makes sense. And I feel like having them in my stash just to prepare is, you know, what God has been leading me to. And whether that be my son's father that I marry or if God has somebody completely different for me to marry. And I know a lot of people get upset when I say that. Some people will literally message me and be like, well, why did you say that if you believe that God gave him, gave your um son's father to you? I do believe that God gave me um, my son's father, my fiance. I believe that wholeheartedly. But um, I also am human. <laughs> so... You know, I, sometimes I have my doubts, even though I truthfully love him with all my heart and we love each other. Sometimes our relationship can be a little bit rocky. So I don't know. Everything is in God's hands. But um, that's not going to stop me from preparing a library for my future husband. Uh, would I love my future husband to be my son's father? Obviously, of, of course, like that. I love him with all of my heart. We've been together for seven years. We have a son together. Um, we've been through a lot together. But um, I also will leave that in God's hand. You know, um, I'm not going to rush marriage as much as I want to be married. Um, what girl doesn't want to be married? But I also don't want to rush into a marriage um, that's not built on a strong foundation. So, um, yeah, I am building up my little library. I have books for um, couples that are engaged, like engaged kind of couple devotionals. I have married devotionals, um, books like these where a husband and wife can read together. I'm just getting my library up to date for that because... Um, I definitely do want a strong, faith-filled marriage. That is what I want. Um, I want God to be the center of my marriage. God has never really been the center of any of my relationships, unfortunately. Um, and that's just because I wasn't keen on him being the center of my relationships. And even the relationship I'm in now, he didn't. I didn't start off with wanting God to be the center of my relationship. Now, though, over the past year or two, I've definitely been focusing on God being the center of my relationship. And though... Um, my fiance and I still go through hard times. Things have definitely been a little bit better, especially communication-wise. So, um, yeah. 
but those are all the books that I got for September. Not too long of a haul, thank God. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe. If you are, click the little bell to stay notified. Thumbs up this video. Leave your comments and questions down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.